everyone, and welcome back to our Recharge podcast. Now, this is actually our last Recharge podcast for this academic year. I know, really sad. We're going to be taking a break from doing the podcast over August while we are going to be focusing on how we can get our group started back, if we can, for September. So look out for more information on that on our social media pages and emails and other ways of communication to see what the latest news is for those things. But for this week, as we finish the podcasts, we've done seven, this is 17 weeks now, as we've looked at this book together, 16 and a half ways to upgrade our faith. And if you would like a chance to win a free copy of this book for yourself, all you simply need to do is to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and message us to our Facebook page, Southcourt Baptist Youth, which of the 16 and a half ways that we've discussed have you found most helpful out of these last few weeks, okay? So send us that message to let us know which one's been your favorite and why for your chance to win. And you also need to like and subscribe to this channel. So all the information for that will be in the description below, but do give it a go and somebody will be able to win a free copy of this book for yourselves, a brand new copy as well. But for the chapter for this week then, um, so like I said, this is the final chapter of this book and it sort of brings everything together into one final point to leave you with and leaves you with a bit of a challenge going forward. Okay, and that is after everything we've gone through to looking at all these helpful tips, it's looking at how can you make a difference in your youth group? I wonder, have you ever wondered what it could be like if you could really make a positive difference and positive impact in the life of your youth group and in the lives of the people in your youth group. If so, if you've ever thought that, I wonder what that would look like for you. How would you make an impact and a difference in your youth group? I wonder what that looks like for you. And if that's you, then I want to encourage you to give that a go and see what kind of a difference you can make in the life of your youth group and what sort of difference that would make to the people in your youth group as well. And if you haven't ever thought of that, then I also wonder why that might be. Maybe do you not feel like you can make a difference? Do you not feel that maybe you've got the power or the influence to be a difference maker in your youth group? Or do you do you just not realise the potential that you have to make a difference? Well, if that's you as well, then that's okay. If that's, if that's you, that's fine. You might just have never thought about it. But I want to encourage you as well that if that's how you feel, then you are more than capable of making a real and lasting and positive change to the life of your youth group. In fact, I would go as far as to say you are probably better than anyone else to make a difference in your youth group. Even better than your youth leader, your church leader, all the people that lead your youth group, you are the ones to make the difference. And maybe after listening to this podcast, you might want to go and make a difference. Then why not speak to your youth leader or your church leader and ask them how you can help out to make that difference a reality? That's the challenge that I want to leave with you today. And the first thing for me to say is that Giving ideas to your leader of what your leader can do is one thing, and that's good. That will help them to shape the youth group for your needs and wants and what you enjoy. But do you know what's even better than doing that is to find ways where you yourself can get involved in making the difference to a youth group and helping to take your youth group to the next level. The impact that you will have will be so much more powerful than you might think. If we look together at the book of Acts, especially in the early few chapters, we see what can happen when a group of young people, now because the disciples are believed to have been young people, what will happen when young people commit themselves to God and allow God to use them in amazing ways? Imagine what this might look like for your youth group. Imagine what the result would be in your church, your community, your school, maybe college, your family, if God set you on fire for him in the same way as the, he set the disciples on fire back then. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and read the first few chapters of Acts and you'll see. 
So how do we do this then, you ask? How do I make a difference? What can I do? Well, I think it all starts with a desire and a passion to see God move more in your life and in the life of your youth group and moving in your youth group and in your church. And this desire and passion to see God move will become the fuel to make a difference and to help you persevere even when it feels like nothing is happening. Because there will be times when it might feel like that. And this is where all the previous chapters that we've read from this book will help us with this. By taking all of this information on board, we will feed a hunger and a desire for more and more of God in our lives, in your life. And will help you to create an even greater passion for seeing God move. And as God moves little, a little bit, it will give us more confidence to do more and keep going. Little by little by little as we see God move. Maybe at first it will be small, but it will grow. And you will grow in confidence that it's not just about you and what you can do, but it's about giving it all to God and seeing what he can do with it. And I think that is the really key thing. As we, from this chapter, as I leave you with this podcast today, the one thing I want you to take from it, the reminder is that, yes, it's really important for us to fill our lives with God, to give our lives fully to him and step out in faith and for us to try and work hard in making a difference in our families, in our schools, in our youth group, in our church. But we mustn't forget who is the one that is really making the difference. You see, it's all about God. It's a bit of an obvious answer, I know, isn't it? It's the obvious answer that we can always think of, but it is always about God. It's so easy for us to forget that. We can very easily trick ourselves into thinking that I need to do more, I need to be more, I need to try harder. But really, we can give it all our best shot and if God's not in it, then it's all in vain and it won't achieve anything. Yes, we might get ourselves a good reputation and being a hard worker and doing great things, but it won't have God in it, so what's the point? I've come to learn over the years that it's got very little to do with me and it's got a lot to do with God. Yes, hard work is definitely important. I don't want to say that you know we don't need to work hard. We do still need to give it our all. But God's involvement is the important part of the process. You see, I want to leave you with this. God doesn't choose people that are already equipped to do the job, but actually he chooses people with the right heart and the right attitude and mindset, and then he equips them for the job that he's got for them. You see, there's a phrase that goes around. It says, God doesn't call the equipped, but he equips the called. Just look at the life of King David in the Bible. He was a simple shepherd. And God called him to be king of Israel. He wasn't equipped to do that yet. God equipped him as he went. You see, he looked at David's heart first and not his ability. He equipped David as he went along in the calling that he had for him. And I want to encourage you, as I finish with this podcast for this week and for this season, that you are more than capable of being used by God to make a big difference in your youth group or in your church, in your school, wherever it may be. You just need to be willing. You need to keep God in the center of it all and go for it. I don't know if you remember a talk from Soul Survivor one year about being all in for God with nothing held back. And they reference it to like going on a bungee jump. And I wonder, are you ready to make that jump? To go all in? to go for it and see how God might use you. And you just might be surprised at how much God has got in store for you if you give it to him. And you'll be amazed at the difference God will make when you give it all to him and you jump all in. So my question, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What's holding you back? Or are you ready to make that jump? And if so, let's do it. Let's bungee jump together and see what God might want to do in you and through you. And I guarantee you, if you give it all to God, if you leave nothing behind and jump all in, bungee jump with God, it will be amazing. It will change your life and it can change the life of your youth group 
of your school, of your family, and your friends' lives around you. If you say to God, I'm all in, set me on fire like you did those disciples, and let's jump together and see where you want to take this, God. Let's pray, shall we, to finish. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are the one that does it all, and you simply use us and call us to be a part of where you are at work. And Father, I pray now as we finish this season of podcasts and we finish looking at this book, Father, would you help us to be all in? And Father, from the different things we've looked at, the importance of prayer, praying for ourselves, for other people, asking others to pray for us, the little tips and advice of how to set time aside to spend time with you, would you help us to take it all in, digest it all and use it, Lord, as the fuel to fuel our passion and desire for you, to see you move in our lives and in our youth groups. And so, Father, as we go into this summer, as we break and as we look to come back together at the end of this pandemic, as we try to meet back together again, Lord, would you bring us ready, fueled up with a new passion, a new desire to see you move even more than ever before. And, Father, as we say to ourselves... We want to leave nothing behind and we want to bungee jump with you. We want to go all in. And Father, would you help us as we do that? Not about us, but all about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, have an amazing rest of your week. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. And I just want to encourage you to give it your all. Go all in. Leave nothing behind. And see what God might want to do. Be blessed.